What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the show. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Today, we're going to be talking about Drake and DJ Khaled making a music video. And then the next episode, we're going to be talking about Mike Tyson getting back into boxing on Joe Rogan's podcast. Let's talk about Drake. Drake is a multi-billion dollar, I believe, or no, million dollar um, artist who everything he touches pretty much turns to gold. I personally think that he steals a few flows here and there. I think he's more of a corporation than a rapper, but you cannot deny his numbers. You cannot deny the money he pulls in and you can't deny his fame. If you do at this point, you're just, uh, you're just jealous. Um, so you, you, whether you like or hate Drake, you have to admit this guy has done a lot of things in his life. He came out with a music video with DJ Khaled. However, he didn't really come, <laughs> come out with a music video. Justin Bieber did. I started out the video. First of all, DJ Khaled, I don't really know how he became as famous as he did. I know he started out like on radio, then he kind of became um, uh, uh, Fat Joe's um, kind of side sidekick, his Robin, I guess. And then he all of a sudden blew up in like 2012. He just started all you hear, all you started hearing was another one in DJ Khaled, and Drake made fun of that in the video. And uh, you know they made this song, and already it has 10 million views in 20 hours. I guess. Drake is really doing stuff in his quarantine. He has a heart in his haircut. Drake, you have a heart in your hair. Don't you kind of think that you, at the age of, past the age of, I'd say, 14, you should never do anything with your hair other than a fade. So there should no, there shouldn't be like the razor part. You know how they split the your your head with with a razor, like, there shouldn't be two lines, right, there shouldn't be a little swirly, there should, there should definitely not be a heart <laughs> shaved into your head, Drake, um, but the guy has a heart shaved into his head, it's, it looks ridiculous, but he was ranting about how DJ Khaled wants him to do this, that, and the third, so he just got Justin Bieber to do it instead, I have to say, I mean, the video looked like it, it only took an hour. Justin Bieber was pretty much walking around in his pajamas. He looked hungover, and he was just, he was just walking around the house just, you know, with a bottle of champagne and just reciting, barely even reciting the lyrics. And that was 90% of the video. But I have to say, Justin Bieber does have charisma. I'm sorry, he does. The guy has got charisma. Nobody could just walk in a room and make the room as, you know energetic as Justin Bieber. The guy has a lot of cool charisma and a lot of people used to hate on him when we were younger. And I guess he, the kid has like PT or the guy has PT. He's older than me. The guy has PTSD from it, but I always thought he was a cool guy. I don't know. I never really understood the hate around Justin Bieber, but whatever. Um, he, he's a, he's a good guy. And, uh, the, the video was real nice. One thing I have to really talk about is YouTubers, King Batch, Timothy De La Ghetto, these YouTubers are in Drake's music video hanging out with Justin Bieber. <clears throat> if that doesn't tell you that YouTube should be pursued as a career, I don't know what should. I have this channel and I hope this grows and becomes a channel with millions of subscribers. I hope this becomes a very famous channel so that way I can work up corporate and work up YouTube and make those my big, big entities and money. Great. But everybody will laugh at you when you say you have a YouTube channel. Everybody. Everyone is like, wow, uh, you have a YouTube channel? Uh, cool, I guess. But then you see these YouTubers who are hanging out with Justin Bieber who are in Drake's video. That shows you the long-run potential of actually continuing to do YouTube. A lot of people say, man, you've been doing YouTube for a year. You have 500 subs. If I do it in 10 years and I get a million subs, if I keep doing it for 10 years, that's all going to be worth it if I'm hanging out with these kinds of people, if I'm if I'm a star of that caliber. These guys are in Drake's music video hanging out with Justin Bieber. Do you understand how crazy that is for you to start off as a YouTuber and then have that much fame? It's crazy. You can literally, you can have that much potential off of this, off of filming in a basement. Just... Just with a microphone, with a cheap microphone and cheap panels, you can go from this to hanging out with Justin Bieber. That's the potential of YouTube. So, to me, that seems cool. Tell me what you guys think. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I like Drake's music. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.